Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. Since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. A Biden-Trump debate is set for June 27th. And while the Donald's trial will be one of the focal points. Sir, are you planning to testify publicly as well? So too will Hunter Biden's at long last. Last night, the Republican House Judiciary Committee posted the story on their website. And this morning, Twitter has censored it. The nation was largely denied information about the Biden family business in 2020, thanks to the censorship of social media, a compliant press corps, and a partisan cabal of former intelligence officials. There are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plant. In the last presidential debates, four years ago, Mr. Biden brushed off claims about his son's foreign business dealings. Vice President Biden, there have been questions about the work your son has done in China and for a Ukrainian energy company when you were vice president. In retrospect, was anything about those relationships inappropriate or unethical? Nothing was unethical. This time, the nation won't be denied the facts. The laptop is real, and House investigations have documented the foreign financial payouts to Hunter and his associates. Between 2014 and 2019, this brings the total amount of foreign income streams received to approximately $17 million, correct? That is correct. The investigations also released sworn testimony that the Biden family business deals were aided by Joe's winks, nods, calls, and meetings with his son's clients. How involved were you in your son's Chinese shakedown text message? Were you sitting there? Were you involved? Were no, you involved? I wasn't. And I don't Were you? No. IRS whistleblowers also provided evidence of Hunter's complex web of shell companies and deals. On May 13, 2017, I received an email concerning allocation of equity, which says 10% held by H for the big guy. In that email, there's no question that H stands for Hunter big guy for his father. Many facts have also been backed up by federal felony indictments for a gun-related charge, as well as tax evasion and filing false tax returns. The assigned prosecutors, all four attorneys, agreed to recommend felony and misdemeanor charges for the 2017, 18, and 19 tax years. Now, after months of theatrics from Hunter's legal team to delay proceedings. One, One moment, the cameras cannot be in the well. Cameras cannot be in the well. A certain karma comes into play. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, excuse going? me, Hunter. Oh, Apparently, whoa. you're afraid of my words. Uh, here goes. The left has spent years <laughs> engaging in lawfare against Mr. Trump, only to realize that most of their cases may be pushed beyond the election. This is a Biden trial. This all comes out of the White House and the Department of Justice. By contrast, Hunter's trials are proceeding along normal timelines because they're the sort of standard charges that any number of Americans have gone to prison for, lying to federal tax and gun authorities or evading taxes. All of the emails, the emails, the horrible emails of the kind of money that you were raking in, you and your family. And Joe, you were vice president when some of this was happening, and it should have never happened. And I think you owe an explanation to the American people. In the 2020 debates, Mr. Trump could only hurl unvetted accusations about Hunter's activities. Today, the House investigations and federal prosecutions have provided concrete details, as well as proof that Joe routinely used his influence to aid Biden family business deals. Mr. Biden, why did you put your dad on speakerphone with your business partners if he had no involvement in your business? Do you have a dad? Did he call you? Yes. Did he the phone? Yes. Okay. But why did you need to talk to him during business meetings if he had nothing to do with your business? And Mr. Biden stands accused of having been untruthful with the public. I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. Since 2019, as more testimony and evidence has come to light, Mr. Biden's story has changed. The president ha was never in business with his son. I did not interact with his party. Add to this the unseemly backstory at the Justice Department and IRS whistleblower claims that political or partisan actors work to protect the president's son from being indicted. At every stage, decisions were made that benefited the subject of this investigation. Well, at the end of the day, he, you know, he had a career in Washington, yep. uh, graduated Yale Law School, and had a very big network in, in D.C., and brought that know-how and understanding of D.C. and ultimately the Biden brand. Mr. Biden may have successfully minimized his Hunter liability in 2020, 
but there's no hiding it this time. We're gonna have Stuff is true questions. about Russia, Ukraine, China, other countries, Iraq. If this is true, then he's a corrupt politician. Right. So don't give me the stuff about how you're this innocent baby. Joe, they're calling you a corrupt politician.